Aries, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another 72 hour reading for the sign of Aries. So this will um, be going up for Monday. Okay, so I'm already pre-recording this, but this will be Monday's energy to Wednesday. All right, so let's get started, Aries. All right, for my Aries, Sun, and Rising Venus. I keep hearing something comes with the territory, or it comes with the territory, okay? Something about territory, okay? Someone could be Native American. I'm also getting something about, like, um, Native American land, or something about something coming with the territory, okay? I'm also getting you buy something, and something extra comes with it, okay? It's, a, it's part of this deal or it's a part of like what you're supposed to be doing it's a part of this lifestyle okay so whatever this is it's a part of what you're supposed to be doing all right so let's see let me use the tea leaf cards now we're going to look at the tea leaf we're going to see what is coming in for you monday tuesday wednesday okay you can be watching a lot of reality shows like reality tv shows okay hmm we have monday Wow, okay, yeah, I'm getting it's a part of the, it's a part of, it's, it is literally a part, I love when I speak and the cards confirm. It's a part of the lifestyle. Misunderstanding. So you may be misunderstood or something that you do, people don't understand it or they don't understand you, but I'm getting it's a part of the lifestyle, it's not meant for people to understand what you do, especially with the success card here for Wednesday, I feel like you're a you're you're meant to be a star or but your whatever success that you do it's like people don't understand how you're successful they don't understand how you do something or your profession a lot of people misunderstand you or you feel misunderstood or something let's see so what is this valley so on monday i feel like you could be um looking so on monday you're soul searching or you're kind of questioning things i feel like you're questioning like life or you're questioning what it means or you're starting to question certain things in your life the will of fortune yeah i'm getting you're questioning your destiny you're questioning your purpose so you're asking am i am i on the right track you are on the right track i'm also getting you're gonna find that out by the end of monday going into tuesday okay some of you some of you could be a sad dealing with a sagittarius all right, you have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart. But I'm getting to um, this energy of you just questioning where you're supposed to be going. Okay, we have valley here. So some of you guys could live near a lot of mountains or live in the valley or near a valley. Okay, I'm also getting you go hiking on Monday. And I'm getting you, 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 um, you have this epiphany. Okay, so some of you guys could be going hiking on Monday. Or maybe you may be guided to go to like the park or go near... Uh, some mountains okay i'm getting it's going to be very relaxing i'm seeing someone literally drive up a mountain or drive up a hill all right or you did this this weekend this could be just what happened but the wheel of fortune so i definitely feel like you're kind of questioning what you're supposed to be doing but you are going towards your purpose so your your destiny is very big on monday all right someone's name can be destiny or d all right Ugh. Your hair may get in your mouth too. You may have like hair in your mouth or like your hair, especially if you have long hair, it may get in your mouth or something. Oh, I just got that weird message. That was a message for somebody. You may have long hair. You could be playing with your hair like, like that or something. So what is this misunderstanding about the six of wands? Yeah. Your reputation. I'm getting you're not meant to be understood or something that you do. People don't understand it. All right, I'm also getting people to understand. Let's clarify this. What is the Six of Wands energy? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Coming into success. I'm getting they're not meant to understand you. Or you maybe you feel like you get a lot of attention, but people don't understand how you are or something. You're definitely somebody that gets a lot of attention, but I feel like there's some drama that comes in on Tuesday. Or you dealt with some drama, okay? But this has to do with your, your reputation, your image, okay? With the success card. Some of you guys could definitely be um, stars. You guys could definitely be... Um, I don't know I'm getting a reality TV show. You're watching a reality TV show or something. Or you could be maybe wanting to do a reality TV show or something. But with the Six of Wands, I'm getting like this energy of you feeling misunderstood on Tuesday. There's a misunderstanding that comes in, okay? 
but I'm hearing it comes with a lifestyle. Like, this is what you signed up for. This is what your soul signed up for. I'm getting people are not meant to understand your success. Or they don't understand how you did something. Or they don't understand how you came out of something. Okay, how you went through this dark period. With the success card coming out on Monday. Sorry, on Wednesday. I'm getting the success card. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like you are somebody that a lot of people look up to. Or a lot of people admire. But I'm getting with that, there's a lot of misunderstanding. There's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of misunderstanding on why you do something, why you think the way you do. This could even be yourself. Maybe some of you guys are too hard on yourselves. Or maybe you put a lot of pressure on yourself and you feel like you have to be a certain way. But you don't have to be that image all the time, Aries. Okay, you don't have to live up to how people want you to be. You live up to your own standards. Okay, that's significant for somebody. I want to tell this December 2022 because I don't know why. This is the next 72 hour reading, but they're telling me December. So this could be happening in December. Confirmation. Confirmation beep. This could be happening in December. This may all happen in December, okay? Let's clarify. What is this Six of Wands energy? The Five of Cups. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting like people didn't... We have the Hermit energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We have the Seven of Swords. Ooh. The Seven of Cups overall energy. Be aware to... Okay, so what I'm getting is on Wednesday. I feel like Wednesday looks good. But I feel like the rest of December is going to look good for you. Um, but I also do feel like with the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, there's this energy of being sad. Alright, be mindful also who you give your energy to. Be mindful of people that want to come into your life and take from you, okay? We do have Virgo energy. This could definitely be a Virgo or this could be someone. This could be Air Sign. This could be um, a Five of Cups. I'm getting someone... The people that come to you, it's because they, they want something out of you or something. I'm getting like there's people that judge you, but then they want a piece of you. They want a piece of what you have, or they want a piece of something, but they still judge you, or they still judge what you do. But it's like you get so much attention, you get this success, because it's right here. But I'm getting you still feel sad, or there's this energy of sadness here. Like, I'm getting people don't know what you had to go through to get what you had to go. You had to go through a lot of, like, trials, okay? So I'm getting there's some sadness here, too. I'm hearing, too, it comes with the territory, though. All right, I'm getting it comes with the lifestyle. I'm getting it's not all glitz and glamour or whatever this is. You, It's like people don't understand. You had to go through this depression. You had to go through this sadness to get to where you're at. All right, but I'm also getting with the Seven of Swords, the Hermit card. There could even be people trying to steal your success, people trying to take what you have, or they're trying to use you or be in your life. For the money i'm hearing money money eyes money eyes money rains money rains okay i heard gucci main all right some of you guys could be listening to gucci main but i'm getting this energy of like be careful who you trust on wednesday or be careful who you trust period i, I don't feel like this is just today it's, it's gonna happen in december i keep hearing december 2022 this all comes to pass all right I'm getting you are giving, but it's like, I feel like you need to be careful who you give your time to or be mindful of also discerning with the Seven of Swords and the Hermit card who's around you. Because I feel like there's somebody who is not authentic, okay, with the Seven of Cups overall energy. It's almost like somebody wants to pretend, but again, this misunderstanding. I'm getting someone also has an idea of you that's not true, or maybe you put the, up this idea for somebody but I'm getting this energy, too, to take care of your mental health. Okay? Because w even though there are... I do see that there's some, some people here that are, like, you know, be mindful for. Don't be in this energy of thinking everyone is like this, either. Because not everyone is like this. This is also tying to the misunderstanding. But I'm getting it's happened so much that it's like you have this wall up or you're just... You're scared to let somebody in. Or you think people are going to use you. But that's not the case for everybody. But I'm getting this energy too of like. There are people though that are in your life. That you may need to discern. And you will feel this too Aries. I feel like you're going to you're gonna feel this energy. Where there's going to be people that are going to come into your life. That you're going to have to question. Like are you here for me? Are you here for what I have with the Six of Pentacles? Do they, are, do they really care? Or do they want to take from you Aries? Okay.
Seven of Swords, the Hermit card. I'm just, I'm honestly, like, I just, I'm seeing they're giving me any more messages. I'm not getting any more messages intuitively. All I'm getting is it comes to the lifestyle. I feel like you know this already, or you've experienced this, or you will experience this. Alright, but I'm also hearing, don't be so hard on yourself either. I do see this energy of you feeling sad, or maybe you grieving over something, or you being hard on yourself. Really take care of your mental health as well, especially when it comes to the Seven of Swords too. Make sure that you're also taking care of your mental health. Make sure that you're speaking kindly to yourself. So saying affirmations as well. Like, I am successful. I am worthy. I am good enough. All right, Aries. Very important for your mental health the next three days. But going into December too, make sure that you're also taking care of yourself. Make sure that you're nurturing yourself. But also, um, make sure you also know how to decipher these energies. Because I feel like you are successful. You have success coming in. But there's people that may try to take something or want to take from you. Because they want your success. They want your attention. But I'm hearing it comes to lifestyle. You signed up for this. Or part of your journey on this earth was you had to go through these things to get where you are. But it's like it's part of the lifestyle. It's almost like it's inevitable. But you can still discern who's good and who's right for you by using your discernment. Does that make sense, Aries? So that is what I have for you, Aries. Very interesting reading. Um, I hope this reading resonated for you. Um, you do have a lot of success here, but I also feel like you are also kind of realizing, too, that you may need to be look at the people that you have around you, or you may need to kind of be more on lookout for who is really for you, okay? Because I'm also getting, too, some of you guys came from nothing, and you rose to the top. And you need to look at who was really there for you and who's really coming into you now. Because some of you guys are going to be very successful that you're going to have people coming in from the woodworks. Wanting your attention, wanting what you have. And you're like, wait, but you weren't there for me when I went through this. Okay, Aries, so be mindful for that. So that is what I have for you, Aries. That is your next 72-hour reading. Um, I keep hearing it comes with the lifestyle. And I also heard the Jungle Book. Some of you guys could be listening or watching the movie The Jungle Book could be significant. But that's what I got for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonated. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.